On Wednesday, the Union Home Ministry introduced a Cyber Safe India program aimed at combating cybercrime and safeguarding individuals from cyber threats. An official statement urged citizens to report the phone numbers and social media accounts utilized by these criminals to the NCRP via www.cybercrime.gov.in. The Indian Cybercrime Coordination Centre, a Home Ministry initiative, was established to address cybercrime with a unified approach. The National Cybercrime Threat Analytics Unit has proposed action against more than 100 websites engaged in organized scams related to investment-based or task-oriented part-time jobs. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has blocked these websites. These websites were reportedly operated by foreign entities. They utilized digital ads, chat platforms and rented accounts. The profits from these economic frauds were laundered out of India through card networks, cryptocurrencies, overseas ATM withdrawals and international fintech firms. The offences not only posed a significant threat to citizens but also raised concerns about data security. Following that, the Home Ministry detailed the actions undertaken by these deceptive entities. Utilizing platforms such as Google and Meta, fraudulent entities launch targeted digital ads employing keywords like Gar Baite, which means stay at home, and Gar Baite Kamai Kaise Kare, which means how to earn money from home. These ads were run in multiple languages from overseas advertisers. The targets primarily include retirees, women, and unemployed youth seeking part time employment. Upon clicking these ads, an agent initiates contact via WhatsApp or Telegram, persuading potential victims to complete tasks such as video likes, subscriptions, map ratings and more. Once the task is completed, the victim receives an initial commission and is prompted to invest more money for higher returns based on the assigned task. When the victim deposits a larger sum, the deposits are frozen, leading to the victim being defrauded. The Home Ministry outlined preventive steps that citizens can adopt. Before engaging in highly lucrative online schemes promoted on the internet, ensure careful consideration and scrutiny before investing. If an unfamiliar individual contacts you through WhatsApp or Telegram, avoid conducting financial transactions without proper verification. Verify the recipient's name provided in the UPI app. If the receiver appears to be an unfamiliar person, it might indicate a potential fraudulent scheme utilizing a Mule account. Similarly, validate the source of the initial commission received. It is advisable for citizens to abstain from transactions involving unknown accounts as they could potentially be linked to money laundering or even financing illegal activities. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.